Hello, this is Denise M. Simpson, the Courageous Heart Coach, and I'm here with Helen Terry of Soma Ranch, and we're here to talk about the weekend retreat we're collaborating on. So Helen, it is the Badass Magic, what's the title of it? <laughs> it's definitely going to be a magical, mystical weekend, bringing our two talents together. Um, yeah, so Denise, I'm so glad you're coming. I'm actually here in the studio where we'll be doing our retreat and um, it's exciting times originally i was planning on doing this retreat with the one and only fabulous mr alan davidson and um, i can sense him smiling with his ten thousand sun rays of light with wherever he is shining on us glad that we're continuing his work and coming together so thank you so much for for um for honoring me really with you coming to share your brilliance at soma ranch Absolutely. It's a it's an honor both ways. And it's truly a pleasure to do this work because Alan created evolutionary mystic meditation from a download he received back in 2013. And I've known and been working with Alan since then. Unfortunately, he passed on Easter in 2021. So I am one of his advanced certified fact practitioners, facilitators. And there's only five of us on the planet, but we are so committed because we have seen firsthand the transformation and the improvements in people's lives that doing this work can have. Alan was all about getting into the body and living through the body, as well as Helen's an expert at that. And I have had life-changing transformations when I've attended at, uh, Helen's Nia classes at Alan's invitation during my training process. So this truly is a co-creation, uh, co that's the word, co-creation and the collaboration. And we're opening it up to a select number of people who can attend for the weekend itself or just day passes if you're near Houston. It's about an hour outside of Houston, Soma Ranch is. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's, so and we'll have... Go ahead. I'm going to say I can definitely include a link underneath this talk. So people, if you want more information about signing up, also like if people want to fly in to the Houston airport, we we have this, this great guy that provides transport to and from. So even people coming from further afield than Houston, we can help you with transportation. And yeah, Alan and I go way back. Um, he, I met him, I think, in a, in a near class, and that's, you know, over 20 years ago when we were both discovering how to bring our previous experience really into the body. So, um, so yeah, I've loved watching how Alan over the years, you know, brought together his amazing, you know, personal story and then how he's worked with meditation and really evolved into this amazing program that he has, but how he's been able to put that, like you said, into the body and through the body. So, um, one thing I love is there's only five of you on the planet, you know, that the, are the advanced facilitators. And one of my um, reasons for inviting you is um, I want to get to know each of you better. Um, I was going to ask you, like, obviously, you've each know Alan very well, and you each went through a lot of different courses with him over several years. Um, but what I know so far about each of you is like you're each so different yet aligned beautifully. So I was going to ask you like a little bit more of like what's your background and how do you take Alan's work and, and make it your own? I think that's one thing I loved about Alan Starr was that he really honored the brilliance in each individual person. So it is his work, but I just see each of you, like he would say, shining your 10K suns in your way like no one else can on the planet. So how do you share like no one else on the planet? yeah so that's really comes down to the courageous heart coach and it's my journey from having a few different near-death experiences but mainly being um july 26 2012 ready to check out off the planet with a pile of pills because i was harassed at work i was major clinically depressed after my mom died family systems it was all drama and trauma and you know i was struggling, it was the darkest night of the soul with the question of what's my purpose? Why was I even living on the planet? I was wake up in the morning and it's like, oh, now what? 
So I had this major breakthrough, um, hearing a voice from God that said, it's not your day to die. No one has the power over you. Only you get to say whether you live or die. And it's not today. And I was so angry because I just wanted relief from the pain I was living in. The physical pain from a car hit and run accident, the mental pain, the spiritual anguish, disconnection, all of it. Oh, so, but you know what? I listened to that voice and I put the pills down. And the next morning I woke up and I said, what's my purpose? And I railed, but I tapped the emotional freedom technique. And I became certified in the emotional freedom technique. And then I became advanced certified in the emotional freedom technique. And I got Reiki certified as an advanced practitioner. And I'm a certified hypnotist. So I went on this massive holistic healing journey. And it became my mission to teach other people to tap and how to heal. And then Alan created the evolutionary mystic meditation with his 40 years of massage therapy, body work, his study, his certification in Genpo Roche's boot of uh, big mind meditation. Uh, it's, focuses heavily on inner voice dialogue, which I had also learned in my first master's degree as a counseling psych marriage and family therapist, which by the way, I got when I was separating from being divorced, <laughs> from being married, I went and became a marriage and family therapist. So out of the pain in my life overall, I would say is what's come, the certifications, the skills, the knowledge, the abilities, and then I turn all of that onto the clients. So for me, Alan was able to take my, you know, me as I was, but really evolve and mature me. I have matured under his mentorship and his tutelage and his guidance and his friendship. And I'm a much better person than I used to be. And I've seen it in my clients as well. And then the knee dance is so important because I actually got back into my body. Alan, Alan for five years was like, Denise, get back in your body, get in your body, get, and I was like, I'm in my body. I'm in. And no, I was a walking head is what I call it. It's all the spinning thoughts, right? Mm -hmm. And finally I got in my body. And it's like, oh, I have a body. Most people aren't even aware of it. So once you're actually in your body, then you can become centered, grounded. You can be more present. It takes courage to do that. And it took me courage from the heart over and over and over again as I up leveled, as I evolved, as I matured, as I stretched myself. I learned to say no to things that I'd said yes to. And I learned to say yes to things I'd said no to. And that's where these opportunities come out of. And along the way, I've been able and blessed to connect more spiritually and meet a community of people. We're all soul seekers. If you're a healing professional, if you're a busy parent, if you're a coach or a therapist, you know, any of the massage body workers, we give and give and give. And where's our sacred self-care? We need to give back. So that I take Alan's work and it's morphed with my journey and all my years of knowledge, training and expertise in this wide variety of skill sets. And that's where Courageous Heart Living was born and Courageous Heart Writing. So I also help people write their stories, write their books, make an impact, create abundance and leave a legacy. Yeah, that's beautiful. I love how you're a walking example of um, so often in life, there's things that happen that, in some ways are beyond our control but what we choose to do from those situations not only when i think when we heal ourselves we also then are really blessed with the ability to hold the space and also help others who are going through similar things so i love your story and how you shared that choice that it wasn't your time yet and um, I love that expression that Alan would often say with me. It's like, it's a good day to, to live in our body. And um, what I like about how each, I think we're, we're so different, Denise, but like there's this common thread of connection. Like there, there are several ways to get into a body. And then also I think on our retreat, there's several different kinds of people, like you said, anyone that's 
um, takes care of other people, anyone that really is what I call a healer. Yeah, a healer for me is someone that helps other people feel better, whether that's physical, mental, emotional, or in spirit. So you definitely, you know, you've healed yourself. And also now you're in that place of helping heal others. And I too feel like I was born to help people feel better. But what's great about our retreat when we come together is I feel like you bring this vast information um, with regards to the program and meditation and connecting with the voices. Um, I assume when you're doing your sessions at SOMA, we'll be sitting in, I've got these comfortable chairs that we'll all, we could be sitting in. And um, from my experience, when there's been tapping with Alan, it's that thing of being comfortable and um, and you're really providing that centered self place, helping people find their center and then connecting with the different personalities within us. And then my complimentary part is as allowing people to connect with music and movement in a magical way. And what I love about Nier is that there really is something for anybody walking in, whether it's someone that's never done movement um, that I hopefully can guide them and like you will help with me and you know like just sometimes by movement and not having to think about it there's these wonderful ways of getting more in the body and more embodied and connecting with that deep kind of soul connection of like I was born to experience this life in my body um, so I love turning people on to the pleasure of living in skin is how I say it so living in their body but I also love that perhaps there's some movers and groovers and people from near and yoga and other things, people that I know that are more in the movement that are less familiar with what you offer. And I love how we can really be bringing these you know, different people together. But the commonality is there's something for everyone. I think both of us have that thing of wanting to make sure everyone feels comfortable, everyone is seen and heard. And, and it's beautiful also that collective nature when a whole group of people come together um, all wanting to not only help themselves, but help others. I love these kind of retreats, how there's such a, um, such potential in it. Really, it's just a weekend, yeah, from Friday through to Sunday. But we really can grow in that time. So, um, so do you want to describe a little bit more? Like I said, my sessions are going to be, we're going to be playing music. We're going to be here in the studio. I teach on a thing called level one, two, and three. So people that aren't used to moving, hopefully feel comfortable. And people that love to move more, they're welcome to. But what do your sessions look like? How would you like the design of the room to be? Can you share a little bit more of what it'll actually look and feel like for people? Absolutely. And I, you know, I love where this is going to just magically, but also beautifully mesh. Yes, being comfortable sitting, you know, meditation does not have to be twisting yourself up like a pretzel. If somebody's not used to that, for the people who are God love them. You know, I admire that. Um, so think comfort, think ease. It's meditation, but a lot of people say, but I can't meditate. I can't get my mind to quiet down. It's all that chatter in the mind. I will help facilitate reaching a level of stillness in about 60 minutes. And it's that pause and just having a sense of I can breathe and I can just be and there's nothing to do. There's no place to be. When I first experienced that for my maybe 10 seconds for the first time and then 30 seconds for the second time, there was such a sense of relief and everything drops away. And I hope people have the result of from the weekend gaining a higher perception of what's going on in their lives. So it takes the stress down, the overwhelm, the worry will go down. They'll have fun. They'll connect to the soul. They'll connect to other beings. We're going to create an energy field that's so loving and compassionate and nurturing. You can't do this process wrong. That's the main thing. I want people to be assured if they're feeling called at all to it from their heart or if they're hearing something and it's like, I want to learn more about this. There is no way to do it wrong. Come to the retreat and let us guide you and show you. And it's just going to be a transformative weekend. People can shift. I shifted myself in one weekend retreat, you know, time after time after time again with Alan. That's what we're going to provide to the attendees at this retreat. 
Yeah, well, that's lovely. Yeah, sometimes when I'm looking at magic, I love the definition of when we say it's going to be a magical experience. I love defining magic as to appear and disappear, which is really what I think magic is. And like what you're sharing is people's like concerns and self doubt are things that can disappear. And the things that do appear is more of connection with their true self and more, not so much woo woo stuff, but real practical embodied experiences that then give them by the end of the weekend, like, oh, I know more of who I am. I know more of why I'm here. And now I know what to do. Yeah, that people will be leading. I mean, there's the weekend, we have five specific principles we're playing with from, from near. We call it the five principles of the body's way. And it's like the body thrives on dynamic ease. So our retreat really is going to be dynamic ease, having real balance between we're going to do some things, but we're also going to relax. And then how the body demands balance. And we're providing balance between sitting still and moving, you know, connecting with the body, connecting with the mind. And then the body is balanced between yin and yang, looking at that masculine feminine energy. And I felt like each of us, you know, we bring different yin yang energy to what we're doing. And then how the body is in simultaneous mobility and stability. So like when you're sharing, when people are going into stillness, that's where the mind is still, but then that allows the spirit and the imagination to move. And then also with through my movement, we get rid of that kind of puppy dog, crazy chatter mind. So we can actually be moving our body, but our mind becomes really balanced and stable. And then finally, the fifth principle is the body itself reveals the body's way. And from my experience with Alan, it's very similar with this work too. It's like that the process itself reveals the way. And that there is this collective nature when a group of people come together, like it might be one person sharing something but then from that it's like we really are in this big mind collectively and so I'd say the body itself reveals the body's way and this kind of weekend experiences the experience itself will reveal each individual piece person's way you know so they get that little another piece of the jigsaw puzzle to have more clarity um so they just have more peace and ease in life uh, what's not to love about that so well, I'm really <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I would add to that the work I do is with individuals and with groups, but finding where the resistance is also. If a person's not receiving the love, if they're not receiving the flow and the joy from your movement, I was able to open up to more fun after Helen's Nia dance and Alan's retreat. So if there's resistances to the blockages, and it could be the guilt, shame, it could be perfectionism, if procrastination, the inner critic, we, I, ugh, my inner critic was so harsh when I started and I've transformed my inner critic into an inner cheerleader. It's being able to be more successful in life, not just money or houses or cars, any area of life. Success can be more love, more fun, more, more community, more relationships. So, being able to turn down the negative and turn up the positive, that's about the courageous heart. And that's based on Alan's work. Mm -hmm. And this is where Nia just everything you talked about, masculine, feminine, the dynamic ease, the mobility and the, the quietness, it's all wrapped up in there. This, I think this retreat's going to knock people's socks off. <laughs> Well, I'm really glad that you accepted the invite and just jumped straight in. And um, anything else you want to add? Um, I think this has been a great way for people to get to know who you are and a little bit about me too. And um, I'm getting looking forward to getting to know you better through working together. I think it's one of the best ways to really get to know someone. But I love how you speak. I love how you share. And I can really sense your heart. And I'm just really excited that you'll be here soon. So thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And I look forward to hosting, co you know, co-hosting the retreat, but serving the attendees because they're going to transform. So it's going to be great. Check out the link below. Spaces are limited. We do have an early bird special on the web page. So sign up for that. And just blessings to everybody from my courageous heart to yours. Thank you, Helen. Yeah.
That's wonderful. Thank you, everybody. So we'll leave the link and just know we are operating at 50% occupancy of where we usually would do a retreat. So there's lots of space and, and just being responsible at the moment for people's comfort level, but also for being, you know, just practicing responsibility with that. So I hope people feel comfortable. And on the break, you get delicious food. We've got wonderful rescue donkeys that people love doing. At Soma Ranch, we're on 15 acres. We're really close to the airport and close to grocery stores but it's this little pocket of 15 acres that that feels like you're in the middle of nowhere and um so we're looking forward to hopefully seeing you soon thanks denise you're welcome thank you